Ben from SimpleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to be checking out Cinebrass Horns of the Deep by Cinesamples. Cinesamples continue to expand the delicacies and details of their Cinebrass line. This time they've released Horns of the Deep. It's a simple, warm, low brass library. Downloads is 1.83 gigabytes. Sample set is of three tubas and three euphoniums recorded in unison on the MGM scoring stage. It's got six NKIs with articulations, two effects, presets, as well as staccato, sustains, and true legato. It includes the Cine Symphony mixer with microphone options, EQ, panning, reverb, and a mapping tab that allows for customizations for articulation playback. It is a contact player instrument, loads right in your library's tab, and requires contact 5.8.1 or higher, and is NKS compatible. Horns of the Deep normally sells for $129. At the time of putting this together, it's on a special price, uh, $79 US dollars. I'll include link, take you straight over to Cine Samples in the description below. One of the ways I learn about libraries is just to write a little piece, kind of learning about the sounds, writing off of the way that the, the instruments inspire me. For this um, example of Cinebrass Horns of the Deep, I went ahead and blended it in with Cinebrass Core using blending it with the trombones and the horns and then leaving it to kind of counter uh, question and answer each other for those instruments, just so you could kind of hear those or so I could kind of hear how they might be useful. Here's a little piece I mocked up um, writing with the library. So what I've done is I'm going to break down a little bit of the way this piece is. You can hear the instruments performing together and alone. First up, let's just listen to the Horns of the Deep Poly Legato patch. Mm. And now we'll listen to just the Cine Brass uh, trombones, um, going from the trombone mellow to the trombone brassy to build with the arc, and some low brass as well. So even though that's a really nice sound with just the Cinebrass core instruments, once we layer it with the new Horns of the Deep, you really can feel that low end resonate in the room. The thing to point out here with the instrument is Horns of the Deep has a very little brassy splat to it, and you can hear that with the staccato. Now, when you compare that to the little bit more brassiness of the, the tuba and bass trombone articulation from Cinebrass Core. You hear it, you get much more of that splat. So when you combine the two, I think it gives you even thicker kind of sound to that. The other place that I kind of played with here is going from six horn legato and then pass, passing that phrase over to horns of the deep 
right here. And then the next time around, we did the same kind of thing, only we went to the trombones legato. So let me solo those. <laughs> I used a little bit of the clusters that they included on Horns of the Deep as well, just to give a little bit more of an eerie texture. Um, overall, I'm really pleased with the sound of it. And now let's jump into back in the past when I did the first look. You can hear the different articulations and some of the mic mixes that the library comes with. All right, I've got Horns of the Deep here. You can see it's a contact instrument. We've got our four main NKIs and a couple individuals for staccatos and sustains as well. True legatos, two effects, and one articulation patch. I've got them loaded up here. Here's the true legato. I'm just going to mute my mic and we'll listen to playback of that. Yeah, it's got a nice resonance to it. As you can see, we've got that uh, Cine Symphony mixer right here. So we've got the full mix, which I believe probably Tim has created that. He always creates such beautiful uh, mixes for these libraries. And let's check out some of our controls here. Just close. <laughs> Anytime you're playing low brass, you got to remember, take a breath along with it. I'm a low brass player myself. Uh, here is the room mic. Great sound. Always love the MGM scoring stage sound they've captured with these libraries. Here's the surround. just the legato patch we had pulled up. Uh, let's go into the articulations patch here. And here we could see we've got a uh, click to play mixer presets mapping for additional controls for articulations. And then our settings page for controls for adding turning legato on poly legato dynamics. So right now we've got staccato on pedal up and legato on pedal down. sound and as a 
euphonium player myself. That's one of the things about the uh, euphonium as well as mixing with the tuba. You just get this incredibly rich sound. So because of the way they've set up their mapping, you could go in and go ahead and add key switches if you would prefer to work that way, which is a lot of the way I compose. So I'm able to go in and change this here. Let's go to C0. Now I've got legato there on that key switch, and we'll go to D0 here. So now I've got uh, Schwartz, who would be here. And legato on that one. We can continue to add articulations. Looks like they've only given us the ability to add legato and staccato articulations on this one. So the other thing we can check out are the mic mixes. And we've got some pre-programmed mixer presets. <laughs> Custom mix, you guess you gotta program this one yourself. Now, because the mapping feature does limit you to legato and staccato there, you would need to go into the additional split patches for just sustains. So let's go ahead and go check these out. Pitch we a little weird there, huh? Check out another setup here. We've got uh, the clusters and effects. And then the second set is rips. So one thing I think that uh, in the legatos I want to check out is the poly legato sound here.
that's going to wrap it up here for the review of Horns of the Deep. I appreciate you spending a little time with me here today. really think this library kind of excels at that low tassatura brass choral type stuff. Really rich, wonderful brass choir kind of sound. Much darker than trombones and way darker than the horn sounds. I think it gives us this kind of a... Mm, ethereal milkiness to it that's just my two cents what about you what do you think about the library please let me know comment below always appreciate if you like the video please like share and subscribe be sure to head back to the channel on fridays for the weekly deal compressor show where we share the latest deal announcements and new releases